Courtney Hanson here with the latest on NASCAR automotive technology. Every car is built on a skeleton of steel bars and rails known as a chassis. It's the foundation that the rest of the car is built around. But did you know that before a team can add anything from the engine to the body, the chassis has to go through a detailed inspection process. This happens at NASCAR's Research and Development Center. Every chassis is required to be pre-certified before it goes to the racetrack. Every brand new chassis after it's built is required to come to this building and go through the pre-certification process, which is a combination of Romer measurements with a CMM Romer arm and material thickness measurements, in which we measure the thickness of all of the steel on the car. The Romer arm is a portable CMM, which is, stands for Coordinate Measuring Machine, and that measures the dimensions of the chassis, the X, Y, Z coordinates of the chassis. X is the fore and aft direction, Y is the side to side direction, and Z is the height off the floor. There's certain parts of the car that have to meet specific dimensions and they all have tolerances. There's about 50 or so Romer measurements and then there's over 150 material thickness measurements. We use an ultrasonic meter, which is, just works like an ultrasound when you have a baby. It just uses sound and it, when you touch the steel, it bounces back and gives you a reading. So with the Romer Armour Bell, our largest tolerance is a quarter of an inch, and our smallest tolerance is about the thickness of a dime, about 90 thousandths. In the beginning, a lot of people were scared of the process because the tolerances, you, a quarter inch is pretty large in most worlds, but when you're working on a vehicle with steel and welding parts together, it's actually a pretty small tolerance. When a car passes certification, we adhere 11 RFID tags throughout the entire chassis. It's a radio frequency identification tag. We program the tag so when you scan it with the scanner, it retrieves the serial number. Every chassis is unique and has its own unique serial number and then we can then retrieve any measurements. So we place the 11 RFID tags throughout the chassis on parts of the chassis that a team would typically want to change for some kind of competitive advantage. So this is a deterrent to the team's doing that. So once it is pre-certified, then the teams go take it back to their shop and they put the bodies on and they get it ready to go to the racetrack. And then once it's at the racetrack, they'll go through some template inspections and they inspect other various components of the car that we don't see during the pre-certification process. Jimmy Johnson scores the win. After the race, we bring the winner and a random car back from every racetrack, and we do the entire pre-certification process all over again. We inspect about 30 to 40 cars a week, and a typical week we will reject between three and five cars. When we reject a car, we explain to the team what exactly was wrong. We never tell the team how to fix a car. We just tell them what is wrong, and then they are allowed to then take the car back to their shop, and then they return to try again. The whole pre-certification is so that everyone's on the even playing field. Before the cars make it to the track, before they even begin to look like cars, NASCAR makes sure that the teams are playing by the rules and keep playing by the rules all the way through the checkered flag. For more on NASCAR automotive technology, keep it here at NASCAR.com.